I'm here at HPE Discover with Phil Catrone, and one of the businesses within HPE that I don't know a lot about is your OEM business, and I'm wondering if you could tell me about it. Oh, that'd be great. So um, our OEM business is uh, essentially all of our intellectual property, our servers, our storage and networking, we make those products available to customers that want to build their own solutions. So essentially we become a supplier to other customers that may take our products, integrate them into their own, and then subsequently they go down and uh, create demand and sell them to through their channel network or through their own sales um, people. So why would they go that route versus like building from the ground up internally on their own? Yeah. So. Uh, a lot of times customers are building proprietary solutions themselves. It's very costly. So what HPE has enabled in our OEM uh, solutions business is we take all of this infrastructure and it has a horizontal value proposition and customers want to tap in to that high volume value. And so with minimal tweaks, minimal uh, adjustments, we find that we can move them off of, a, uh, off of a proprietary piece of equipment onto an industry standard server, for example, and they can have great economies of scale and great performance and incredible security. And so what's an example of a company that is doing something like this today? So I always love to talk about um, at least a couple. Um, I'm forced to because we cover almost uh, every vertical market and it's exciting business. So I love to talk about healthcare. Uh, and the reason why I like to talk about healthcare, it's so near and dear to our lives and, and um, you know, you worry, I worry about my health and I worry about my family's health. So for example, CT scanners. CT scanners, the CT is constantly revolving with lots of data coming off, off of the data and you're radiating the patient. So. Um, one of our customers takes our servers, in fact, four Apollos with many GPUs, and we'll take that data off that scanner and rapidly are able to rapidly produce an image for the clinician to make a, to make a diagnosis. That, to me, is a you know, passionate thing. And so that's one use case where we've optimized those servers to deliver that image rapidly. And it can't hiccup. There's no uh, room for error. So that's why we have special engineers that help to work with these customers to make sure it's perfect. Why is it perfect? Because we're rating a patient. If it misses the right from the scanner to the drive, then we might have a problem and you have to redo the CT. Not acceptable, that'd be an FDA offense. The second use case is another exciting one is um, we work with a company that makes a multi-purpose printer. And in this particular case, they monetize a square meter because they sell print as a service in many mid-market customers. So they were looking for a way to add more services instead of just print. So they came to us and, and we uh, essentially designed a server that would fit in the bottom paper drawer. And what a great example of of a partnership because now they're able to offer uh, hosting of applications, backup services, they have video surveillance cameras that integrate. Um, in fact, I'd like to tell you the customer's name, it's actually Konica Minolta and it's called the Workplace Hub and it's an exciting solution. And, and so they've, they've taken the, the printer which people are using less and less of and, and added value for a business like Video surveillance? Exactly right. So and it, it, when you think about how we're printing today, we're printing less and less, um, they had an opportunity to expand services. And now, when a customer, and since everything's as a service, uh, customers have now a menu of additional services that they can uh, acquire from Konica Minolta, and it can all be um, managed remotely. So instead of a medium-sized business having to have an extensive uh, uh, IT department, uh, Konica Minolta can do it. In fact, um, they have a situation where we can hybrid multiple printers together, so instead of having one server, you can have 10 or 20 servers, and it's almost like a cluster inside that environment. And it can also be a gateway punching out to a public cloud. That's impressive. Yeah. Thanks, Phil. Yep, you got it.